Hello guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're talking about the law of assumption, Neville Goddard. Beautiful, wonderful teachings. Today I want to tell you why I know for sure that the law of assumption works and how we need to keep applying it to our lives. And the way that I did it the other week to overcome a big obstacle that I thought was going to be very tough to overcome. And now we need to add this into our lives, even when there's not obstacles. So it sprung me into power when I had trouble. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that trouble. And then it made me overcome it. So here's what we need to do. Firstly, what is the law of assumption? Well, for all of you out there who don't know, I'll be a really quick explanation for many of my followers who do. The law of assumption is when we embody the fact that we're living in the end of our wish fulfilled. So our thoughts, feelings, our body and our actions are all aligned to the fact that we already have that which we desire, you see? And, um, you know, I think that's the most wonderful thing to think about because if we live from the end, we, we let go of resistance. We start to notice opportunity. Th uh, things happen to us that we least expected. You know, uh, and, and it's just the most wonderful place to live from. So let's get into the story that I want to talk about. So uh, for those of you who have watched this channel, I have recently moved to Spain. At the moment here, I'm in England doing a, a bit of work. So I'm in a hotel room. But I recently moved to Spain and with that came a few challenges. Uh, a lot of extra outgoings again, various things like that, you know. And um, yeah, with those challenges, it came to the point where I'd paid for everything except something for my house back in England. Uh, I don't want to go into too many major details, but I'll just be real with you. I literally had no... So there was a bill there for a certain amount and I had nothing towards it. I mean, I had no way in. I rang up the company to speak to them to say, look, I think I'm going to be late. Can I have a break until this time? No. Blah, blah, blah. And then I started to remember everything that I believe in and that I talk about. And I was like, and trust me, don't, I, I want to be real with you guys. I had a lot of fear. I was very reactive in that moment. I let go of the teachings that I was doing. But we're only human, aren't we? So I want to speak to you on a human level here. And so I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Oh, all this fear started coming in. And then suddenly, just this power of intention. A little boat, <laughs> a little nod there to Wayne Dyer, you know, but he was a great sort of advocate of Neville Goddard's teachings. And I just, and, and I was speaking to my wife and we were like, do you know what, it just, we just have to say, and, and we were saying to each other, we just have to say to him, look, that's, I'll have to pay it when I can. And I just was like, no, I'm not allowing this to happen. And I just made a decision in that moment then that I will do it. And I had... I had literally had five days to do it. It was hilarious. So I had five days. I had nothing. I had no way, no how of doing it. I still had to then book flights for this job that I'm here now, actually. And I had many other outgoings that I had to do as well. And I was just like, no, it's happening. It's absolutely happening. So what I did was I made that intention. I could see myself paying the bill. And because I had so much emotional power behind it, I just saw it happen. And what happened after that was nothing short of a miracle. I had some unexpected money come in from a family member. I had some money come in from work. I had someone book me for another, another job here in the UK. And I had someone else take up some coaching lessons with me as well, all within a couple of days. So within a couple of days, I had made more than I needed to pay the bill. But the reason why I did was because I just intended it, but I had such emotional, mad emotional charge about it. I had a charge of emotion that meant no way, no how am I letting this not happen. <clears throat> and so what I'm trying to get you guys is, is when we get into that state, just make an absolute decision as well. With such an elevated emotion, that you know it's going to happen. Now that emotion may start as fear, but then it's like the power of going, I'm not going to let this get over me. It's like if you were a soldier or something and you're going into battle and you just decide, I'm going to go and do this. 
no matter what anyone says, no matter what fear comes up. So today, I say it to you too. Go out there without fear, without worry, without burden, and just decide you're gonna do it, and then assume that you are already doing it, and see the vision, and then just walk through your day without any doubt. And when the doubts come up, you just keep that intention. It's happening, it's done. I know it's done. I don't know how, but it's done. And you don't have to, I, I actually didn't quite live in that sort of state where I was just like relaxed, laying back on the bed, going, it's done. I was in a, just in a state of like, well, I assume it's done and now I'm gonna make it done. So I added a little bit of extra power there. Now, obviously, if we wanna go purist on it, I could have laid back and just assumed it, not worried, thought about nothing. But I added some action into it this time. But the truth is, is what I learned from it is, man, if you assume it, and you're going to say, I'm going to go and get that, you will get it. So just know that the law of assumption does work. Now, I'm looking forward to coming back and telling you more about my, my sort of journeys with the law of assumption. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. If you need some extra help, there's ways to message me and work with me down below. Take care, guys, and have a great day.